let us see how to schedule a lecture or a meeting without having a conflict with other faculty events. First, you have to go to Google Calendar. You can navigate to it from your account here or you can navigate to it from Google Classroom. You have to double check the account that you are logged in with. You can have a different view of this calendar by month, week or day. Etc. First, you just need to pick a date and click on it. Then, you will get this pop-up window, and click on more options. Now you can add an event title here. Make sure to use easily trackable words. For example, the course name, course code, and purpose with proper spacing. By doing that, you will be able to easily categorize these later. Now, let's find a time that will no effect with other faculty events. Now, let's add the meeting participants, by typing the course code here, and most of the time, you will see three items. Choose the item with group icons here. Now you can see the students availability in this grid view. You can see, one specific student having a lecture. Now you can select a proper time without any conflicts. As well as you can fine tune the time here. If you need to pick a lecture theatre you can do that as well. For the online lectures, that is not required. Now, you have successfully selected the time and the venue without any conflicts. This event, comes with a Google Hangout meeting link by default, and you don't need to create any. You can add some description of the meeting, if required. By setting a time here, Google will automatically notify each user before 30 minutes of this meeting. This will goes as a mobile notification by default and you can customize it to email if required. Now you just need to save the event. When it asks your consent to send invitations to all users, you have to select send all. When you have many classes and duties, you may get hundreds of emails per day. Even after scheduling a lecture or a meeting, you will get meeting alerts to your email. Sometimes it will be difficult to manage important emails within these bulk emails. To solve that issue, you can categorize emails based on the sender, subject, or email content. Now let's see how to create an email filter. Select a sample email that you want to filter. Now select this option to customize the filtering. Here, you can provide the conditions to filter an email. You can categorize the email based on the sender, or, you are having multiple options. Here we are trying to create a filter for your specific course. Now, I'm just adding only the course code. You may use a different text here. Here. Now click create file button here. There are more actions, you can do with filtered emails, based on the given condition. If you put, also apply for the matching conversations option, it will go through your inbox and pull all matched existing emails into that category. If you put this, skip the inbox and archive it option, it will not display in your primary inbox and there will not be any alerts for you. But you can view those emails by clicking on the categorized labels. Make sure, you put this tick only to the emails, those are less in priority. Now you have to select a label, where you can view all the filtered emails based on the above condition. You can create a new label, or you can move these filtered emails to an existing label.
Now click on the Create button. And the newly created label will appear on the left side of your inbox. Similarly, you can create any number of filters and labels having different colors. If you have any concerns, please send an email to the Bello email address.